In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a template within Outlook Web. And what that basically allows you to do is create a text-based template that you can then apply to a new email or to perhaps a reply that you're sending out to somebody else. I use this quite often, especially if I'm sending out the same message several times a week or several times a month. I don't want to have to keep typing that message up. So I've simply created a template that I can then insert into an email. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create our template. And the easiest way to do that is to open up a new email or reply to an open email. And then what you want to do is from the message tab, you're going to go along and look for apps under the add-in group. So you'll see we've got add-ins here and then we have apps. Now when I open up apps, I've already got my templates listed here and hopefully you do too. We can then simply click on my templates and then what this will do is this will show you any templates that you have already created and have in your account. If you haven't created any yourself, then the chances are there will be a couple of default ones that you'll find in here. So you can see you can edit these, you can delete them, or you can use this button to create your own. So I'm going to create my own just now. So I'm going to click on the plus template button. And then here we'll have a title. So I'm going to put um, timesheet reminder. So let's say this is an email I'm going to send out maybe once a week or once a month to remind employees to complete their timesheets. What I've then done is I've gone on to chat GPT and I've produced a sample that I'm going to use for this. And then I just simply paste it into this box here. So that's where your typed message is going to be, or you're going to paste across. So in this case, I can scroll up and down and just double check this. And you'll see this one here has all of the information. And then we have a couple of little pieces in brackets, which I'm going to change on the date. Now all I need to do here is I'm going to click save. And then you'll see we have a pre-formatted timesheet reminder here. So we did the formatting outside of Outlook. You could do that in Microsoft Word, or you could actually do it within a message in Outlook, copy it, and then paste it into here. But you'll see it now lives in here. So all we need to do when we want to use this is open up our message, click on apps, choose my templates, and then simply click where we want the template to be inserted, and then click on the template on the right hand side, and you'll see it adds it in. Now in this case, I have a little um, paragraph return to pop in here, but then all I need to do is come in and make the change here. So I'm going to say 5 p.m. Friday, thirtieth of June, something like that. And then I can come down and just check if there's anything else. So we've got a bit here that says log in to maybe you're using different software for different groups for your time recording. I'm just going to say, I don't know, the PCAT service. And these can also be hyperlinked within here if you want to. And then the deadline here, I'm just going to put again 5 p.m. Friday 30th of June. So I've got the template set up and then all I need to do now is to populate the rest of the email and send this one on. So it's definitely a really good time saver. If we need to make any changes, we can just come into here. Let's click on the edit template option here. And then perhaps this one here, if we're always using the same software, I can just maybe type that in here, something like that. And then I would just want to save this one. So next time we use this template, it's going to be correct. Now, one thing you might want to do is if I just close this panel down, if we go back into apps and then go into get add-ins, there are a wide range of other add-ins that you can add to your Outlook account. So here, if I search for templates, then there are lots of different template building tools that you can add as add-ins. Now, some of them are paid, so you'll see they could be free, but they might have additional purchases required for additional um, options or services. And some of them are completely free like these. So if you feel that this one here maybe doesn't give you enough, maybe you want to insert images or maybe do a lot more with the formatting, then you might want to consider looking at one of these. But if you're just looking for a fairly straightforward way to create and insert templates within your emails, then just remember to open up a new email message or an existing one, and then choose message, apps, and then within apps, you should be able to see my templates, open that one up, and you can then scroll down and click on template, create your template, give it a title, save it, and then simply click on it to add it to your email.